Then in the past few years, I've uh, been working on issues of uh, revisiting some of the core theories we have around democracy because uh, democracy has become uh, a very challenging process for many countries around the world. We see election violence, we see corruption, we see um, uh, uh, huge social movements of people in the streets. And so it's still an intriguing question. Democracy is supposed to resolve conflict, but yet sometimes it makes it worse. So what are the conditions that democracy works to resolve conflict rather than make it worse? Yeah, democracy does have to be homegrown, that it comes out of clashes and accommodations within societies. But outsiders do have a role. They have a role at least in three areas, I think. One is support for civil society, that civil society has been seen as a, a bulwark against abuses, as a place where uh, people come together and practice democracy. And international donors have uh, done well, I think, to support civil society. And in some societies, that their support is critical without external support by development partners a civil society would uh, founder. The second is electoral processes, elections, where almost all elections now, including in consolidated democracies, the United States, uh, Western Europe, uh, it requires outside observers. And uh, those observers uh, help uh, ensure that there's a good sense of legitimacy about the process, that it's a free process, it's a fair process. And so outsiders can provide that just bit of assurance and bit of a confidence building really uh, at key moments of election. And the third is around defending human rights. When we see governments uh, that uh, uh, attack their own citizens, both in domestically or abroad, or that engage in human rights abuses, it's really incumbent upon the international community uh, to, uh, to, to name those those abusers and uh, to shame them and to uh, uh, really support human rights defenders. That also requires external help. But now, as we sit here in 2019, all of the major organizations that do global annual reporting on trends in democracy globally see a decline in democracy. So there's a serious crisis out there in the world about a negative trend line. And I think there's little disagreement anymore that there is a trend line and that trend line is in the wrong direction. Young people have checked out of politics. They're often uh, disinclined to become involved in what's been a, a kind of a dirty game, uh, often uh, very uh, um, uh, absent of meaning, but there's a sort of a youth uh, um, uh, apathy around uh, elections and around participation in democracy. So I think it's uh, incumbent upon scholars, university, teachers around the world to sort of uh, um, reinforce that uh, democracy, civil liberties, freedoms, human rights cannot be taken for granted. They have to be fought for, they have to be struggled for, and it will be this next generation that uh, will need to struggle for uh, democracy and continue to struggle for human rights uh, globally.